Good morning, guys. A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing in the world. Don't get realer than this. Even the up and down days you experience. Yeah, when the fridging are nothing inside and everything. But what cannot be disputed is the fact that I am the realest thing in the world. Yes, recently there were voice notes of me talking to some of my staff as a result of us not being able to deliver payments to them in a timely fashion. Yeah, all of that was out there. Now, is that criminal? No, it's not nice, but it ain't criminal. It doesn't make me an individual of more low moral standing. Today we're gonna be serious. You can share this video. We're gonna be serious. Because the language is on, going to be on form. Worst case scenario is the use of low life and hungry belly. But we're going to be on form this morning. Right? So you could share this video. Your kids could watch this video. Your old lady, all the church members could watch this video. So last night, yesterday I played a voice note that basically created a scare right and this is going to be the center of our discussion today when we get the numbers up this is just a vice this is just a teaser this was a teaser and everybody came out in the numbers who would represent now this here is a voice note after smelly smell would have had an interaction with a lady who reached out to her for help in relation to her children and having to go in court and have her child and having problem with her husband reached out to her for help. In the midst of that, you will hear conversation about credit card information, about dealing with credit and that. What does that have to do with the court? What does that have to do with somebody right and wrong? Well, what happens? Everybody wants to know how these people are like me, you know. Me a work, because that's how me is make money. I got a business after this. These people don't have jobs. How do they live? How do they live the life they live? You want to know? Extortion, shaking down people, identity theft. Now, when you see people with a low life, hungry belly behavior, you got to ask yourself, what else in their life they don't do or is not willing to do? And that's what most people don't pay attention to. So people came out in the numbers on my page. If you're some 592 group, I think it was 911 because everybody behaved like it was an emergency. I want you to listen to this voice note. This is this individual in the picture there. Threat, basically trying to threaten a lady. Now if you, this lady, come to you for help. And you tell, what police got to do, lie and act anything? And what blackmail the lady acts? Blackmail is trying to get money to keep something done. Or trying to get somebody to do something else because of some information you're holding for them. What blackmail? Listen to this. This is a voice note after the fact. The story that will come will be so much more damaging. Because it's not only voice notes. It is phone call recorded. The phone open and recorded. So the cancer is not them. The cancer device cars yesterday when she realized the shit in the fan. Oh crap, before critic tech time for makeup vice. Me and make up nothing. These things have a source. When the information goes to the FBI and goes to the regular authorities, who you going to call IRS and all them things for if you know that nothing like that happened? Let the lady go and make the report to the station. Listen to this. And you are not allowed to blackmail me, defame me, or scandal me in something that I know nothing about. You reached out to me for help. I have all our recorded conversations. I have screen grab all our conversation. It is recorded. And you, I'm going to go to a lawyer and I'm going to get a lawyer because I'm coming after you and I'm coming after your husband. You I spass me. You I spass me. You I spass the people that have been working with me that I asked to help. Oh my God. I, I wonder if the people are people like Mark Benchcap and Rickford Burke. 
Because Rickford Burke is known to be an extortionist. Who are those people? This girl is there on congressmen and so in New York City. They got a lab elaborate con job going on. It's a criminal conspiracy amongst them. I believe this. You would you after you cry on this phone, I was crying on this phone with you. She was crying on the phone with the lady. Oh, what's your problem? Give me your credit card number. Oh, 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 I feel your pain. It's was your social security number. Melly Mel crying on the phone with people. Huh. After you reach out to me, tell this is what you're going to do because I don't know what your husband say because you realize now that your husband is going to get in trouble for fraud. Okay, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to enter. I'm going to the police. I just came off the phone with my lawyer. See, thank God, I'm going to send. Up which one you going to? The police or the lawyers? Which, which one you're trying to go to? Is the police and the lawyers? The lawyers before the police? The police before the lawyers? How, how, how? What's the confusion about? Just, just came off the phone with my lawyers. So we are going to go to the station. I'm going to go make and go, go now make an official report, and I'm going to tell her all the information. Whatever you say, I'm going to give him his information. I'm also going to my lawyer said that they will make contact with the IRS. All this. You have a here, smelly smell tax so fast. <laughs> That's panic mood. I got, to, I got to tell me lawyer. And, and, and we go, go, Ali, we go, go. And, and. What happened? What was the confusion about? Come on. Calm down. Everything will be okay. Mom, I never took care. It's simple. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to go to my lawyers. And I, what if you reach a liar? You're in dispute. You're not going to lie and police at the same time? Office on the fraud department and everything. Thank you so much for showing me exactly why I shouldn't go out of my way to help anybody else in this country again. Because you have made it bad for everybody else now. Victim blaming. You've made it bad for everybody else now. Thank God for letting me know. You imagine how the cost wise get and I still help people every day if you genuinely help me. Oh, one time you get caught in something and you decide you're helping nobody no more. Well, why you shouldn't help anybody in the country? Hey, you use help? Office on the fraud department and everything. Thank you so much for showing me exactly why I shouldn't go out of my way to help anybody else in this country again. Because you have made it bad for everybody else now that would reach out to me and ask for help. Because you know, I'll be skeptical because of people like you. You have a son and you have a daughter, and this is what you would do to another woman. Just Here, the, the, the try to this is what you go do to another woman. I will show you telephone recording. Where smelly smell is there, listening while a woman is explaining to the woman how the credit thing does work. So this is the final aspect of it, you know. This is intimidation. We ain't gone into the credit fraud yet and identity theft yet. The Guyanese critic has exclusive access to evidence that shows this fraudster in action with a conspirator we ready yet listen to the voice note this is intimidation but who 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 went out of our way i don't have to do this to was going willing to go to court with you all of that to help you nah you god there is a god i can't believe that you reached out to me to help you and as a woman rights activist, and I do this for people all the time, I went out of my way to help you. And you are now calling to tell. Bear in mind, this is not a story where we ever hear about. We hear about this story. <laughs> She's got your way for help people. You know, everything for them is public. Like me, everything is public. But this story, nobody hear about this story yet. Even this. When she send the voice, so before she goes, say, I try for help one of them. And this is what you try for do me. No, no, no. Everything is vice note behind the scene. Hush, hush. These people would just call out people for anything. Somebody tried to set she up and she call him a liar police. She ain't come for no life. Now at least, hey, Auntie Smell got something coming. Auntie Smell dropping something. How you didn't drop this story? 
wanted this story dropping. Me that I open an account in your name, sweetheart. Every single one of our conversations or every single one of the conversation that I've had with you is recorded. And I am going to the police station. I, I'm going to report you and I'm going to report your husband because you I spars me and your husband I spars me. I'm sorry, I, this is the last I would ever go out of my way to help anybody or to help people. All of our conversations is recorded and thank God, see this God here, will stay protecting me and stay blessing me. Thank God, my phone is recorded every single conversation and I recorded that Facebook conversation. You are a liar and I'm going to ensure that the authorities deal with you and your husband. So that is a scare tactic. After being scared, Smelly Smell is trying to intimidate the victim. Now, what vice recording? Now, you got control of the vice recordings. So you're going to come out, and the ones with the lady giving you information, now going to come out. Well, we got ones with the lady, and you having discussion. Because the lady, like, she recording too. She like recording too. Right? No. The events of things. Smelly smell and an associate and others under the pretense that they will help a woman who called them to explain a problem she's having. Ask the lady for social security number and other personal information. After which... They started trying to open a conks in the lady name. You will hear recorded conversation. The woman in panic, ma, what you do? What you do this? What you all doing? Thing coming out of my account. What is these emails that I'm getting? You will hear other conversations where they're explaining to the woman how it works. In one interaction between smelly smell and the woman, look at this. In one in take down the thing down the bottom. In one interaction, the individual asks, "Hi, Melly, I just received this check. Checking account and my email. What should I do? Ready to wrap things up? Right here. Here is how to make the most." of your experience, smart money, digital checking account. The lady in number the account, you will hear the lady talk to them and they explain to the lady how accounts is work and the lady got credit. They're teaching the lady how to get credit and, and develop her credit score. After a woman call about a matter with the court, she's saying in the audio about court. Was all this long conversation then by the lady credit score? The, the, voice, no, the, the message goes on, hi, wait, do not trouble it. Hi, can you please tell me what is it about? The lady obviously, not too high up on the IQ chain, asks for advice, need help. Hold, and what to do with it? Calling, calling um, D. So the other individual who's play a part in this thing, Smelly Smell refers to her as D for her to check it out. She said it's nothing. They just want new customers. <laughs> now, look here, right? You see the, the, the interaction, who the person is having the interaction with? Look here. The evidence is there. Right? <laughs> now, I must say, the staff have been paid since last week, just a day after, um, or the same day, they were paid the same day as a matter of fact, the voice notes came out to me talking to them. And one of them was paid in some of people who have a lot of money paid them. One of the individuals who made the voice note is actually a millionaire. I didn't get any money to do this. This is a matter of fact. Right? And as you know, I'm producing the evidence. 
So this is an interaction. Now let's go straight into the, a woman. To call me. A woman speaking to Latoya Campbell, right? And in worry. Now don't forget. Right now, five nine two. Everybody reporting, reporting this matter. The report things that my page says last. Everybody trying to get this information. I would go on TV stations and put this. I would write detailed crime articles and make sure it gets into the paper. Nothing can stop the truth from coming out. Right? Listen to this conversation where the victim now doesn't know what is going on. And wants to know what is going on. Listen to this conversation. And she not um answering maybe she's busy. Yeah, I think she's going to uh, um she's not going to uh she's going to uh, uh, something right now, but um what's up? What's going on? Um these credit card um these 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 accounts, these credit mm -hmm. things that been opening in my name. Mm -hmm. It's not my husband. Who is that? Who's doing it? Pardon? Who's doing it? Well, the only people I give my information to is you and Melly. What? I, I, those cards weren't open just um, yesterday or last week. Those... We... No, in this discussion, they're already, she's accepting that those cards, so she knows when the cards are open. Don't let me get to like, decipher this thing and break it down simple for y'all. I'll let me listen it out and, and then we can go back to it. Those are new. Um, come on, I'm not that stupid, okay? I was stupid to trust you and Mary Mel. Do you know the trouble you're putting me in? Do you know the damage that you're doing to me? I reach out to you as as a woman and that's what you guys what? are going to do to me? What? Huh? Um, um, uh, I reach out to you people to help me. You took all my personal information. You know the damage you're doing I'm to my credit. What, what did we do with your? What? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait. Let me hold. Listen to me. We, I did every. You have everything in your hands, and I don't like what's going on here. Um, actually, before you do anything, let me call my lawyer. Before you do anything, let me call you back with my. <laughs> These people got a set of liars. I wonder if one of the liars is Rickford Bark. In the phone. One second, one second. I don't even know if you have a lawyer. You guys make so much promises to me. Get all my personal information and I Yeah, because we were trying to you. help because yes and what remember we but, can't but be Yes, yes, she accept. They collect all the lady personal information to help her. This is how this help you. They collect your personal you information. Help me so far, except taking all my personal information. Yeah, we were trying because be, based on what you were telling us, we were trying to help you. Mary we didn't try to help me. You and Melly is helping ourselves. Everybody wants to. No, bear in mind. You see the top of the call here. An attempt is to call Melly, but Melly ain't answering. Melly going somewhere. Maybe at this time Russian, there's more audio. Listen to this. Oh, Melly can be on Facebook all day and not working. Well, now we know. And this shit is going viral. Oh, my God. This is going at viral. At this time, the victim is just saying this because she needs back your thing. She needs your information. She needs your money. You will hear her claims of what money missing. Sorry, but I reach out to you guys to help me. No, but um, uh, Leela, let me say something. We didn't do any. I don't know who would be telling you something like that, but that girl really, really wanted to help you. She was. What has she done to she help called... me? What has she done to help me? You guys are taking no, out she a, called... a bunch of credit card in my name, and uh, and you're telling me not to touch this and not to touch that. I went to the cops. I made a police report. Well, let's um. So could I get hear what? Um, Lila, I, I just want to let you know. I, you All find I me vulnerable and you find me stupid and you took advantage of me and what you did no, to me was not nice. I'm going to tell the world. I have more than one Facebook account. So if you guys try to take this one, then I have another one. No, but okay? um, um, sweetheart, listen, right? I just wanted you to know Mel was really, really nice. What to has to Mel call done people. to help me? You tell she me. She called lawyers. Um, um, um. Do you have any evidence of calling a lawyer so far? All you're doing is selling up my credit. I had four thousand dollar credit, five thousand dollar credit on my on my Capital One card. You guys access my account and is making purchases.
purchases on software and all these things. Come on, I'm not that stupid. Like I said, the only what? stupid things I did, the only you stupid thing, thing I did your... was the trip you, you and me. This thing is overbearing. And you and me, you and me are telling me that what? my husband is not my husband. I confronted him and I know when my husband is lying, it's not him, it's you and me. You hear what? And for big things, for influencers, this is good This is terrible what you guys are doing. We can't record everything you said. We can't record everything you said. Imagine how many... The tape record of it, the lady tape record too. People, you guys are doing this too, or is this just me? Girl, we tape record everything we did for you and with you. But you're gonna need those tape record. You're gonna need them. You better save them because this is going very far. Hold on to me. I am, um, let me call you back. Let me, I'm gonna call you back. No need to call me back. No need to call me back. I already record everything. I have my report. I have had a, listen to me carefully. Not you alone have recording. I was recording you guys all along, okay? So here what's going to happen, right? Um, you you made the report already? I already made the report. Okay. And you made a report to your police station, right? There is many police station in my district. So which one did... No, no. I, I cannot want, tell I you to... all of that. I don't trust you people anymore. I oh have so God. much evidence against you and Mel. What you guys going oh, to do? Wow. You best go and close all them accounts. You are opening all the time, even today. You understand? Imagine you guys was managed to get a replacement card before getting my hand. You guys access my what? information at the bank. <laughs> Girl, you know what you're saying? Eh? You know what you're saying? You are scammers. How when the... your finger was working on that computer and I thought you were doing things to help me, you was doing things against oh. me. I have you're... everything, everything I have on my phone. I regard everything. Hear what I'm going to do. Hear what I'm going to do. Hear what I'm going to do. You watch what I'm going to do right now. One sec. I regard you. So this recording ended here. Just after that, these kind of things start popping up. Right? Your digital checking account is closed. Right away after the information. Right? Now, there's a lady and the victim, somebody who played a part, co-conspirator to Melissa Attlee, co-conspirator. You will hear a conversation between the three now. This is when they shit the fan. You will hear when they was enticing the victim. Oh, how we, oh, your children are so nice. They like our children. If y'all never see a con, I know how a con does pull off. I want you to listen to this conversation. You will see what a con sounds like. How a con works. Listen to this conversation. Now, you see, again, is Nano? This is the whole thing recording. You see the phone call, you see the movements, there's no makeup thing, there's no AI thing, eh? This is real thing. They could come on the internet and say it's not a vice. They could come on the internet and explain these things. I am, I just put in the information why I got out there. Me don't make up nothing, me ain't taking half nothing from Google, me ain't taking half no fridge from Google. You understand? Listen to this. My God, your son is so nice. I want you to pitch with any sister. Yeah, it's it's a lot. If you are helping people, I know, but... oh, you, you know, look, this that that. Oh, your son, thing calm. You know, nice gaff, nice. Yes, calm you down. You pass your information, right? How we work it in nice and soft. Auto. I come to collect some things, and this, 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 um, these emails. I, I open up the email. I, I get into it this morning. And, Which one um, you get the code? The old one or the new one? Which one you get into the old one or the new one? This is supposed to be a story where a lady get a problem and they carry her to court to help her through the court system. 
this I, I thought it was about you had some problems which one you get into the old one or the new one you listen to the conversation not me i can do my assessment after of this criminal a new one let me start from the start oh my god your son is so nice i want you to pitch with any sister yeah it's it's a lot um i do over pronto i come to collect some things and this 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 um these emails i i open up the email i i get into it this morning and which one um, you get to the old one or the new one the new one or oh, the new one mm -hmm. oh you get you find the password mm -hmm. you tell me you find the password what is it about Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yes. So that we can fake the thing? Yes, yes. Okay. No, she got this one here because you opened it out now. This, from time to time, credit card companies that send you ad like for, you know, you credit them there. Hey guys, ID. Hey. Yeah, you don't really know much about credit things, right? Yeah. What's your lady thing? So she got. Hey, Mel Mel, and the lady got stolen she phone, girl helping me. <laughs> they said they helping she with your credit card. The lady got she, she got she stole by name. She honestly believes it's helped she to get in. Right? But here she, you know me, nobody credit thing here. And you add like for, you know, you credit them in for Hey guys, ID. Hey. Yeah, you don't really know much about credit things, right? Uh, yeah, all right. So, um, most times ex they were like experiencing now going into banking to offset some of the stuff that has been happening, like with the banks and stuff, right? Okay. So, you remember, sorry? I said, okay. I said, okay. Yeah, so sometimes, right? Like, if you also remember, you were new to experience, so they want to help build your credit. You're new to the experience. The girl in call for the help you with your credit. The girl called for help you to court matter that you're having a problem that you're having. This is a New York shakedown crew. It seems that the 592 was turned into a criminal enterprise. Because at the end, the comments shadow just run and come, try to represent everything. And when you find the 592 commenters, them, you can't go into the profile. The profile secure. If you click on people who talk and cause them by this page right now, you can't go into the profile. They secure the profile. They got a whole different profile of how they just operate criminal like kind of stuff. here sorry I said, okay. I said okay yeah so sometimes right like if you also remember you were new to experience so they want to help build your credit and all kinds of stuff if you want to you could open an account with them but i don't recommend it now because you know you're trying to do your stuff and you don't know everything into it okay. so when you finish going through and when you finish on monday then we can safely sit with you and say do this account do you have a checking account okay if I have a checking account, no. Okay. okay, well, this will be good for you to open. If you had, if you had, if you had one, I would tell you no, because they're looking so high. When we come on Monday, we're gonna set up one for you. I make sure you have a, a, a bank card and all of those kinds of stuff. It's okay. It's very good for you because you're new to you know credit and stuff, and you're not building your credit. Um, okay, but, okay. You know, it's nothing to worry about. It's it's the same way. It's like a just like a bank. Okay. They have been blocking. So because of all the spams and everything that has been happening, these credit bureaus are now choosing to do their own banking system. Okay, okay. So it's a form of security and then a form of trying to get you. Okay, okay, okay. So nothing to worry about. Uh, yes, you can always ask us. You can receive enough of those emails yeah, from different yeah, companies yeah. and all these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just be very careful. And you can always call us and ask us any questions, you know? Okay. Okay. Thank yeah, you. That's, that's definitely gonna happen. Okay. All right. And don't forget to send me and Melly the documents we need to finish the report. Okay. All right. So they be going. Be going. Don't forget to send me and Melly the documents we need to finish the report. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye, Tell, she's gonna when they ask, she's gonna say, Well, I bought my two friends here, and I would like.
invite them to speak, and then the judge is going to give us an opportunity to speak, and then we will speak. All right, good. Oh, All right. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So they got a whole elaborate setup. You bring your two girlfriends here to speak. They go in the court system. They know about credit after Monday. With that, they can help the lady with your credit. Full set up with credit card and everything. Now, let them explain that con to the authorities. And they've already started to intimidate the victim. Tell the victim a liar. And police. Now, after all of these recordings... How is the woman doing them something? We will go through and dissect now. This is information that they have been sending. After the confusion, they start blocking, taking half accounts on the lady car. Why? Why? You heard the victim's voice. Oh, God, we all opening. We all doing. Software buying from meeting. What she buying? What the lady buying software for? Now, all the information is out there. The evidence is out there. Everything is recorded. Smelly smell could come and answer tomorrow's episode. Gaga Moting. Said the lady, said, look, let me show you how fast they went and closed the accounts. And she blocked the lady. Now, what I'm saying, smelly smell, know everybody's story. Melissa Attlee speaks everybody. Like me, I used to come and talk my thing out there. But how she ain't talk this story that a woman is trying to blackmail her behind the scenes. Let's go into the voice notes. Listen to this. I can't believe that you reached out to me to help you. And as a woman rights activist, and I do this for people all the time, I imagine way to help you. Imagine blackmail is being perpetrated against her behind the scenes, but she didn't come for tag the story. She didn't come to tag that story. Now you see how they're able to do what they do. A lot of times when they're calling people name, is blackmail, they're blackmailing people and intimidating people. Taking people's information is identity theft. It is clear in recordings. Melissa and Atlee and another associate conspirator is doing that. Claiming to be officers of the court and gonna help people and go and talk to judges. What is the conspiracy done going on in New York? What is going on in New York? No, this is not I say. This is not me say. I will be putting the information out there. I can list it in all form and shape. Put it on all the platforms you want. Listen. And you are now calling to tell after listen to Melly Mel's voice smelly smell intimidating the victim after you heard a recording of her listening to her information being shared and a lady explaining how creditors work listen to her conversation me that I open account in your name sweetheart every single one of our conversations or every single one of the conversation that I've had with you is recorded and I I'm going to the police station. I, I'm going to report you, and I'm going to report your husband because you I passed me, and your husband I passed me. I'm sorry. I, this is the last I would ever go out of my way to help anybody or to help people. All of our conversations is recorded. Would the conversation be recorded? Did the lady tell you to take her credit card information and use it? What the conversation being recorded has to do with anything? The lady was also recording too. What does it have to do with anything? Listen. God, see this God, he 
will stay protected me and stay blessing me. Thank God. My phone does record every single conversation and I recorded that Facebook conversation. You are a liar and I'm going to ensure that the authorities deal with you and your husband. Imagine an attempt to drive fear in this individual. That's what she could deal with the people then. No. Oh, why you listen carefully? Listen. I want you and your husband know that this is America and you are not allowed to blackmail me, defame me, or scandal me in something that I know nothing about. You reached out to me for help. I have all our recorded conversations. I have screen grab all our conversations. It is recorded. And you, I'm going to go to a lawyer and I'm going to get a lawyer because I'm coming after you and I'm coming after your husband. You I spass me. You I spass me. You I spass the people that have been working with me that I asked to help. Oh my God, I can't believe this. You would, you after you cry on this phone, I was crying on this phone with you. After you reach out to me to help, this is what you're going to do because I don't know what your husband say because you realize now that your husband but he's going to get in trouble for fraud. Okay, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to ensure I'm going to the police. Want you and your husband know that this is America. Now listen to me. She going to the police. Imagine all of this going on and smell. It smell life. She ain't come upon alive yet. She ain't come live yet with your recordings. All of this going on in your life. She ain't come upon alive yet. Now, when she says she's going to the police, listen to the conversation she had with the woman. She was a part of. This one is so nice. I want you to pitch with any sister. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, I do over at Pronto. I come to collect some things. And this, 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 um, these emails, I, I open up the email, I. I get into it this morning. Yeah. And, Which one um, you get to the old one or the new one? Bear in mind, there's no dispute as to Melly Mel, Melissa Attlee, giving this lady email, sending email to this lady for she open, for she open the conks. There's no dispute about that. But she then your voice to say, oh, she requests she the lady Ricardo. too. The lady was recording too. The victim recorded the whole thing. And now it's not a voice note pass. You can see clear as the phone. You see there and there. You see the individual phone. You can see who dep on the phone. Right? Listen to Melly Mel listening to the conversation. Have somebody who claim who she profess knows better by the credit thing than she. The new one. Oh, the new one. Mails, I, I open up the email, I, I get into it this morning. Yeah. And Which one um, you get to the old one or the new one? The new one. Oh, the new one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, get, you find the password? Mm -hmm. You tell me you find the password? What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yes. So that we can fake the thing? Yes, yes. Okay. No, she said this one day because you opened it out now. This, from time to time, credit card companies to send you ad like for, you know, you credit and then back. Hey guys. I D. Hey. Yeah, you don't really know much about the credit thing, right? I no, she don't know about the credit thing. She has a co-conspirator who has a better understanding about the credit thing. Bear in mind, I want you to go back. And I want you to listen to this voice note. That's Melly Mel there telling she ain't nobody crediting. She call her next body. Listen to this. Want you and your husband know that this is America. And you are not allowed to blackmail me, defame me, or scandal me in something that I know nothing about you. This is the intimidation Reach part. Me for help. I have all our recorded conversations. I have screen grab all our conversations. It is recorded. And you, I'm going to go to a lawyer and I'm going to get a lawyer because I'm coming after you and I'm coming after your husband. You I spass me. You I spass me, you I spass the people that have been working with me that I asked to help. Oh my God, I can't believe this. You would, you after you cry on this phone, I was crying on this phone with you. After she was crying with the lady to, to get because the lady the way husband say. information. They there talking to the people and telling them.
Hey, good morning, sir. Hey, take my flight. Yeah. No, no. Roger. Uh -huh. So, pull up Latoya Campbell. You got a D, D in brackets, some D in brackets. Pull up and let me get a profile and send it in the system here. Let me see who's the co-conspirator, who's the other person. Good, good, good. Um, at well. And again, it's not Atelier, it's at well. I was just reliably informed by one of our editors. Yeah. Not abnormal for me to mispronounce names. You know, I ain't the English professor. But I he knew when a story crime when I see one. Now I want you to listen to this voice note where intimidatory tactics are being deployed. Listen to this. I want you and your husband know that this is America and you are not allowed to blackmail me, defame me or scandal me in something that I know nothing about. You reached out to me for help. I have all our recorded conversations. I have screen grab all our conversation. It is recorded. And you, I'm going to go to a lawyer and I'm going to get a lawyer because I'm coming after you and I'm coming after your husband. You guys pass me. You guys pass me. You guys pass the people that have been working with me that I asked to help. Oh my God, I can't believe this. You would, you, after you cry on this phone, I was crying on this phone with you after you reached out to me to help. The five nine two people can talk what a wife attack. Crime is crime. Now she crying with the lady on the phone. Listen. Claiming not to know anything and hear her conversation. This one is so nice. I watch it a bit with any sister. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a lot. Um, I do have a pronto. I come to collect some things. And this, 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 um, these emails, I, I... Melissa Atwell, are you denying this conversation where yourself and another individual is explaining to this person how to get credit and so on? You're denying this conversation, that this conversation exists, or you have a way of explaining this conversation? If in your conversation you were helping the person, are you with any credit bureaus? Why would you need somebody information? Why would you need somebody social security number? Why you need somebody personal information? Please explain this here, sir. The email I, I get into it this morning. And, Which one do you get to? The old one or the new one? The new one. Oh, the new one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, get, you find the password? Mm -hmm. You tell me you find the password? What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yes. So that we can fake the thing? Yes, yes. So that we can what? Password. What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yes. So that we can fake the thing? Yes, fake yes. Fake the thing? Fake what? Do you find the password? What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yeah. So that we can fake the thing? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Atwell. After collecting money from the criminal and the world in Guyana, it seems that you are running Guyana's criminal and the world branch of New York. We are in America. Credit card fraud is a big thing. Identity theft is a big thing.
Just this part I want to explain. What you and people faking? You tell me you find the password. What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one? Yes. So that we can fake the thing? Yes. I hear a writer. Am I hearing right? The IRS has to have this information. Melissa Atwell, a Guyanese citizen, is now in New York committing crimes <laughs> of identity theft and fraud. Is heard clearly with an individual conspiring to fake things. Fake what? I just want to make sure I y'all hearing y'all hearing this thing clear is is the fake or fair? It, it, am I hearing correctly? Just let me play it again. Yes. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one. Yeah. So that we can fake the thing. Yeah. So that you can fake the thing. What they're planning to fake? Maybe she has an explanation to that. What could be faked? Now bear in mind, she's having a conversation and we'll go on to have somebody explain this little yes. bit of credit. Here it is. Okay. No, she said this one here because you opened it out now. This, from time to time, credit card companies to send you ad like for, you know. Bear in mind, she has a very good understanding of ads and how credit card companies send ads. Like this one, where she had an explanation. She explained to the victim, like this one, there was a thing here, and the lady sent us some help, hey Mel, I just received this check account on my email, what should I do? Hey, wait, do not trouble it, hey, hi, can you please tell me, this two o'clock, two one, can you please tell me what, it's about hold and what to do, right? Calling C, D. There's a co-conspirator for her to check it out. She said it's nothing. They just want new customers. It's nothing. It's okay. You don't worry. They know what it is. <laughs> Imagine the lady receiving it and they know. Melissa Atwell and D knows exactly what it is about. Right? So this is the individual who is in the phone calls. And I don't know a devoted mother and God-fearing person, lover of self and life. I don't know how, what is the role, I don't know what is the relationship, but this is the individual whose voice is um, heard with Melissa Atlee at, after a woman is now going to claim um, that look, this is the information that you message from ID me. Your identity is being used to log in internal revenue service. Please click this link to upload a picture or to report on authorized use of your identity. So they never tell you, yes, yes, this message is from and, and it's coming up. The lady getting all these messages after giving Melissa Atwell and this other individual her information, social security number. These are matters of fact. Here the lady here asking what to do with the information. Melly and she not um, answering. Maybe she's busy. After the lady get freaking now with all these things popping up, emails coming in. Here the lady asking them, the lady tell, then disputing collecting the lady information. Why did you collect the person information? That is the question. Yeah, I think she's going to, um, she's not going to, uh, she's going to uh, uh, something right now, but, um, what's up? What's going on? Um, this credit card, uh... What's up? What's going wrong? Why would you assume something is going wrong? I think she's going to, uh, um, she's going to, uh, she's going to, uh, uh, something right now, but, um, what's up? What's going on? 
what's up, what's going wrong? Well, if you're here and I get an emails for answer thing for create credit card account, where thing going wrong? What do you assume is going wrong? Why would you assume that anything is going wrong? Um, these credit card, um, these, these, these accounts, these credit okay. things that been opening in my name. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not my husband. Who is that? Who is doing it? Pardon? Who, who's doing it? Well, the only people I give my information to is you and Melly. What? I, I, those cards weren't open just not that yesterday or last week. Those are, those are new. Um, come on, I'm not that stupid, okay? Now, bear in mind, this individual is accepting, understand, this story is about a woman reaching out to Melissa Atwell for help as it relates to court matters your children. All these discussions about credit card and credit card information, this voice note, is about that this voice recording is about that this one clearly they're explaining to the woman i want you to pitch me any system yeah it's it's a lot um i do over front too <clears throat> you get the code the old one or the new one the new one is no this clearly melissa atwell's voice in this conversation speaking to the victim knows about the emails suggested that it's a fake um these emails i i open up the email i i get into it this morning yeah. and, which one um, you get the code the old one or the new one the new one or oh, the new one mm -hmm. oh, you get your find the password mm -hmm. you tell me you find the password what is it about now all she's interested in is this password she don't know what's it about but d bring she in the in the thing so she know you get clients and you get people for open accounts and this and that yes eh? money gonna roll yes so yes yes okay about Hold on, hold on. If you tell me you find the password to get into the new one, yes. so we can fake the thing. Yes, yes. Okay. No, she said this money because you opened it out now. This, from time to time, credit card companies, they send you ad like for, you know, you credit them then for. Hey guys. ID. Hey. Yeah. You don't really know much about the credit thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So she didn't know much about the credit thing, but the co-conspiracy to D, she understand it better. Melly now coming. She bringing the clients. People who come and they start and have problems and so, listen to how it plays out. I'm glad for they explain this. So, um, most times it's, they were like, experience now going into banking to offset some of the stuff that has been happening like with the banks and stuff right okay so you remember some of the stuff that will happen with the banks and stuff can anybody explain to me what this has to do with this woman's actual problem where she has to go before the court they just take over she whole life and get the overwhelming need and love and care to help her with her credit score <laughs> listen to this sorry i said okay yeah, so sometimes, right, like if you go, so remember you're new to experience, so they want to help build your credit and all kinds of stuff. If you want to, you can open an account with them, but I don't recommend it now because, you know, you're trying to do your stuff and you don't know everything into it. Okay. So when you finish going through, and when you finish on Monday, then we can safely sit with you and say, do this account. Do you have a checking account? Okay. If I have a checking account. All they interested in is her accounts. Bear in mind, they would have already had her information, had her clicking on things and email to fake things and all these things. That is the way they helping her. Account? No. Okay, well, this will be good for you to open. If you had, if you had, if you had one, I would tell you no, because they're looking so high. When we come, so they had one. If she had already, that wouldn't have been good. But it's good that they will open one for her now. 
that's better. Right? When they really gonna set up one for you, I make sure you have a, a, a bank card and all of those kinds of stuff. It's okay. Very, very good for you because you're new to you know credit and stuff, and you're not building your credit. Um, okay. But, okay. You know, it's nothing to worry about. It's it's the same only. It's like a just like a bank. Thank you. Because okay. They have been blocking. So because of all the spams and everything that has been happening, they. This lady never complain about them, no problem she got with your account, you know. This lady got a problem with your husband and your child. She hit your child and she there before the court. Listen to the conversations that they have and lead this lady all away because of her distress, the situation that she's in. Hell, they help you with your credit, you know. Same, Bear in mind. Melissa Atwell can't suggest that she wasn't, she's party to this conversation look at how the woman thinks of her you're helping me and the associate you it's just put you in name in store right this is d oh this is the individual so this is the this is the one who helping she got d as helping roger you you, this is the lady, she got the one helping, and then she got Melly Mel stored as Melly Mel. My bad. Right? She assumed that this is the individual helping her. Which is supposed to be a matter in the court, but they helping the lady with your credit. Thank you. Okay. They have been blocking. So because of all Listen to me. When I got worried, me and they listening to this thing like my face. I put in, uh, we could put more than one videos together in a group. On Facebook? Yes, I will put all out there, all the voice notes, everything. And yeah, I could go through and figure it out. How we are one for doing it. Times and everything that has been happening, these credit bureaus are now choosing to do their own banking system, kind of. Okay, okay. Is that true, as a matter of fact, in America? Because all the fraud we're going on, these credit bureaus planning to do, try, starting to do their own banking system, of which... Melissa Atwell and her co-conspirator are a part of, are working for, are they working with credit bureaus now? <laughs> they're working with the bank, they're in the banking system in New York. I, I'm hoping, well, we got to send this to the IRS and the FBI. <laughs> a woman who's studying to become a citizen has already started with criminal activity. So it's a form of security and a form of transparency. While Melly Mel is gonna ask her if it fake. One. Oh, the new one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get you find the password. Mm -hmm. You tell me you find the password. What is it about? Hold on, hold on. You tell me you find the password to get into the new one. Yeah. So that we can fake the thing. So accountability and transparency and fake all works together. <laughs> Hey everybody, I got me this out, I got me this. I got all I have kind of issues. But here is the realest thing coming out of this country. I will post up all of this information out there. This thing makes me sick just to think of what these people are doing. People watch. After the lady talk, she, the black. We block and attempt to access your account, right? This is the information the lady get in. All of this is different emails the lady would have been getting, right? How's your money gone from $5,000? All of this is the thing where the lady get in. No, they write today, right after I told them off, I received this email. Look like they closed this one. They created an email. Look, they tried to delete the new email account. They opened using my info and I went and recovered it. <laughs> Caught and exposed. Now, here was me thing Melissa Atwell. 
has always acted outspoken. Look at this. Look at this. Hi, it's Capital One. It's different, different thing they opening account with. Did you just try to make this purchase with your platinum card ending the number? Microsoft, eh? 1M declined 18 thing. Text back yes or no to protect your card. The lady said no. And I said, let's take care of this right away. We temporarily stop the use of your card to help keep your account safe. So imagine trying to buy something for yourself and blocking yourself. You understand? They got to explain their crimes, what they're doing over there. Well, it has been explained what they do. But they got to explain to the authorities how so. That lady is in fear for her life because they've already started through the 592 group. They come out and they don't represent anything. And when you go to the people who are commenting, then you realize it's some shine, shine people. They're hustling out of basements in New York. They're just hustling over there. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Critic. How are you doing, my brother? Talk to me. Not to more blessings and love, man. Man, this is this is unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. I'm watching. This is unbelievable, man. For all what these people has been saying on the internet to end up disguising to take part in such a crime, man. Yes, continue exposing them, my brother. Have a blessed day. Roger that. Purporting to help people. No. Fair. Listen to Melissa Atwell's Want me attempt. Know that this is America. Listen to me. Attempt to intimidate the victim. Listen to this. And you are not allowed. Let me show the face, man. Let me show you your face. Want you and your husband know that this is America, and you are not allowed to blackmail me, defame me, or scandal me in something that I know nothing about. You reached out to me for help. I have all our recorded conversations. I play all the recordings where Melissa Atwell was part of a conversation explaining this woman how to get credit and everything. How it is defaming. I play the audios for you to hear. Please explain if this is not intimate intimidation now. For her to come to tell the lady, I want you your husband know. Where the lady husband been all the time? Want you and your husband know that this is America. And you are now she explaining to the woman to drive the fear of God and the victim. Bear in mind, she got all this information. They got everybody's story she put it out. As soon as she get a message, she put it out there. She put the story that a woman is trying to blackmail her after she tried to help her. Why? Why wasn't there a story that this person is trying to blackmail me if I tried to help her? allowed to blackmail me defame me or scandal me in something that i know nothing about you reached out to me for help i have all our recorded conversations i have screen grab all of conversation it is recorded and you i'm going to go to a lawyer and i'm going to get a lawyer because i'm coming after you and i'm coming after you you know people fear when you have a lie in america because you gotta get money for liar you gotta get the lady you said nothing but the internet yet the lady in Senon, she's the one with the biggest vice, the guy is, with the biggest vice in New York, disseminating information, driving fear in people, intimidating people, Cons conspirator people like Rick Ford Burke, who's wanted in Guyana for extortion. That is what they do. They group up on people. They could come in the second. Oh, Carl, but come 592. This and everybody coming and committing. And people attacking. And people sending a message to you. Intimidate you. Is a massive network. The criminal enterprise in Guyana has now led. She's a she's the arm in New York because it could be directly related to the funding from the criminal enterprise in Guyana. Hello, good morning. Is this what we are known for out in the diaspora, my friend? Is this the kind of behavior Guyanese going out the country and doing, picking up this nasty behavior, scamming people? 
like I can't even tell people I'm from Guyana anymore. You know, like, there's a, there used to be. A, remember, there used to be a Nigerian thing. The Nigerians has hit. Always got a scam. Now it's the Guyanese with the head of the criminal enterprise out of Guyana, Melissa At Atwell. Like I can't even tell people I'm from Guyana anymore because the first thing. First, it used to be Jim Jones. Oh, gosh. We finally lived that down. Now we got to be known as scammers. Yo, this lady need to get caught. They need to, they need to, they need to prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law. The lady yeah. is in fear for her life. They reached out. Remember, they used the leverage. They got association even with congressmen in New York. She went there to the Congress and wrote a lengthy letter. So... They have been using this leverage. They intimidate people. You know what Rickford Burke does? Everybody know. He's wanted in Guyana. All of them associated. Wait till they get deported. Oh my gosh. Wait till they get sent back to Guyana for the nastiness what they're doing. You talk, bro. Next in line. Kaicho fake news. Next in line. Oh, Kaicho fake news. Kaicho news in an article suggested that Guyanese critic to complete Bellevue pump station by August. Now the pump station official starting date for the contract was the 29th of January. And the official contract is 18 months. We still are in the preparation stage of preparing the foundation, sourcing material. Coming here. Now here with the here with the reds. The 865 million pump station contract that was awarded to Tapui Inc. A company closely linked to Mikhail Rodriguez, also known as Guyanese Critic, and set to complete in August this year. This is according to information shared in a project summary, which was submitted by the company to the Environmental Protection Agency just recently. The EPA, in a public notice, also disclosed that no environmental impact is required for the project. Assessment is required for the project, but nonetheless, we're the only company that did an environmental impact. Yes, EPA, when we asked, requested for the pump station, we were the only company that did it, to be on the right side, because of the fact that you citizens live in the community, and we want to make sure we don't have a negative environmental impact on the citizens. We're the only, when we go, went to EPA, they said, wow, why are you asking for this? We asked for it, and we got it. They came, they did their study, and it was posted in the papers, right? It was published in the paper. The EPA had determined that the project will not significantly impact, affect the environment, and is therefore exempt from the requirement to conduct an environmental assessment. And the agency revealed. By then, be that as may, EPA mentioned that it is still allowing the public 30 days period to lodge any objection or concern about the project. Appeal and objection can be submitted to the Environmental Protection Environmental Assessment Board at EPA's Sophia Georgetown office. In the summary, it was stated that the work will be supervised by consultant Caribbean um, engineering and management consultant. Now, the project, Kaicho News, in their header, continues to get it wrong. Kaicho Fake News and Glenn Lailal continue to get stories wrong. The project started on the 29th of January this year. That's the project starting date. Because there were a number of issues that we were adjusting even today. We have not finalized certain things as it re resulted in the contract and the design. Now we're in the stage of agreeing to the sum proposed by the client through the consultant. All how they trying. Kaicho fake news again. The
Pump Station is 18 months to build. And in the case of having bad weather and so on, there are time periods we would make requests to have that time adjusted. Considerations have to be taken on that. But what I'm going to say, Kaicho News is known for fake news. Kaicho News is known for getting personal. Kaicho News is known for doing anything they are doing. They are there with Sue, suggesting that Sue was somewhere around the PPP and Jack Girl knew about it. Had to apologize on a monthly basis. They are apologizing four times. How many other mistakes are they going to make before people stop reading Kaicho News? If a simple thing like this, that Glenn Lal is blinded by his anger, by his deliberate attempt to pull down Jack Liu, he's blinded by my association, he's blinded by me getting up his envy that he would deliberately have fake news. How are we going to finish in August? If you're going to check the now there, Working the way down on the ground. The project is in the preparation stages to get full um, boat ahead. Blindness. Knowing right to here. Boss a story. I got it for done. And everybody check if I it 18 months. Next year it will be done. Shit, I, I am close. How do you think they just now? All right. Fake news again. What are we going to do? We got the stories for cover. There was an accident. Sad man. There was an accident involving some police ranks. And I'll, I'll show you the videos, then we'll get into the report. This was an incident where several police ranks were injured, right? Unfortunately, and public spirited citizens. This is an unfortunate accident. The accidents don't happen alone to um, the citizens. And we're running through. I, I, I got to go and look for it. This here so, is another Guyanese who can be classified as a hungry belly, expressing low life behavior, um, stealing milk in a supermarket. No, you would understand if one free cheering was a thing, there's a circumstance, but it's something, even in America, people are running in and robbing people and, and thiefing out the stores and packing up things and running home. You imagine living in your house and the, the products that you're using, the food that you're eating is thiefing food. If they ain't hungry, belly you change me name. Buy me fridge and gas the empty. Because me and thief ain't nothing for putting me fridge. Yeah, sir. Me and thief ain't nothing for putting me fridge. So this is a scene from a supermarket, one of our Chinese supermarkets. I don't know how to go back and see these things and go back and find them. There's a second one, full of your bag. My God, it's so embarrassing. 
Y'all know this guy? Y'all know he? Y'all know this guy? This is so embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. On the lighter side of things, our president went to Sonny and Sweetie um, on the east coast of Demerara. You know, Sonny and Sweetie just got the best local food. Uh, and just was having a light moment with one of, um, you know, a Guyanese youngster. Oh my Jesus Christ, the picnic said here eat 20 egg bar. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Every day is it 20 egg bar? Every day is it 20 egg bar? Every day is it 20 So the president having a light moment with the citizens of this country, and that is, that's what amazing about this president. You know, he understands the people, he understands, he feels the people, right? Really interesting. Always good. Always interesting when you get a video with the president. And this regular president there just at Sonny and Sweetie, um, so we can put out the information. I'll be putting out the information. No one who charge and some man. Everybody get charged and so. We can be putting out the information. Yeah, I'll take it and do it as you wish. All the voice notes and things will be out there. She could come and answer. More will be coming. Come and dig yourself more into it. You understand? Because I'm asking myself. If... Melissa. Want you and your husband now? If Melissa Atwell, who is known for coming out for everything on Facebook, was being blackmailed behind the scene, and she ain't said nothing about it. They're running to lie, they're running to police. They ain't saying that this is a secret that I had to uncover. But this is America. And you are. Guys, welcome to this episode of out of my empty fridge <laughs> not allowed this come out of my fridge me, defame me or scandal me i had food in my fridge much but this come out of my fridge and something that i know nothing about you reached out to me for help i have all our recorded conversations i have screen grab all of conversation it is recorded and you i'm going to go to a lawyer and i'm going to get a lawyer because i'm coming after you and i'm coming after your husband you i spouse it was so serious that she's going after this woman she's going after the woman husband but none of we never hear nothing this thing going on for weeks now this thing going on for a good time now. nobody never hear nothing she ain't come out and say, hey, this woman, I, I try to help this woman. No, no, no. It was under wraps. Well, now it's out. And the criminal enterprise that Melissa Atwell is a part of. Because they got liars, everybody protecting her. She went to Congress to speak on behalf of Guyanese. And we're going on in Guyana. We're carried up to Congress. If Congress is not a part and parcel of the fraud. Hello, good morning. Hey, Critic, Critic, it's me again. Um, can you give me a second, just a second? I want to understand something. So after somebody call you to help, you listen to the person and you work on the emotion. When you realize that you get caught, you start to attack the woman and now attacking the woman husband. But from when I listened to the vice note that you were saying, they had nothing to do with husband, just a domestic problem between a woman, a child, and a father had their own personal whatever and it's in court. But you use that opportunity. These people, oh man, these people, I tell you, man, they are not human beings. This is someone who sits on the internet and plays politically correct every moment that she gets. I don't really know her. 
But this is what this kind of people do. And Guyanese people who get common sense follow this individual and celebrate them and look what they've been doing behind the scene. You can tell me that they were getting paid from an individual to do what they're doing. They had to find another way to get money. To live in New York, to pay a rent is between 15, 18, 2,500 a month. Nobody ain't giving you 500,000 Guyana dollar to pay no house rent just for you coming to the internet and talk stripping this. You gotta find another way. Thank you, my brother. Safe. I will leave that story there. I don't think no more needs to be said. I don't want to hear this evidence. Me and twerking, I put in the information out there. We're going to post everything. You take it and do it as you wish. If people want to start different life programs, discussing different things, you download it and deal with it. Peace out. As you know, you could always come here and we could always keep it real. <laughs>